this congregation has been organized by Sakhi, the highly circulated newspaper, as all you know. And that created the occasion for observing this Azadi Ka Amrut Mahacho. So I must give my hearty thanks to Shakhi, its management, and the people all associated with this paper. Mere Pare Andhra Pradesh ki Shodara Shodari Manulu and very my warm greetings to you all. At the outset, I convey my best wishes to you all on the occasion of Azadi Ka Amrita Mahotsav being celebrated on the com completion of 75 years of Indian independence. Azadi Ka Amrita Mahotsav is a great occasion celebrated across the nation with the people of all ages enthusiastically taking part in the events of the programs. This is a great initiative and a wonderful occasion to pay tribute to our freedom fighters whose sacrifices for the nation's independence has paved the way for us to enjoy the fruits of freedom. As our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji said, Azadi ka Amrita Mahotsav means elixir or energy of independence, elixir of inspirations of the warriors of freedom struggle, a clear of new ideas and pledges, and elixir of Atto Nirvarta. This Mahotsav is a festival of awakening of the nation, festival of fulfilling the dream of good governance and the festival of global peace and development. This Mahotsav is dedicated to the people of India who have been instrumental in taking the country forward on its evolutionary journey and to lead the country on the growth path. With the 50,000 events successfully held across 28 states, 8 union territories, and more than 150 countries, the initiative of Azadi Ka Amrita Mahotsav is one of the largest programs ever organized in terms of scope and participation. The occasion gives us an opportunity to remember all the significant events that took place during India's independence. Movement like the Paika Rebellion led by Bakshi Jagabandhu in 1817, the first war of independence of 1857, non-cooperation movement of 1920, Dandi March of 1930, Quit India Movement of 1942, etc. Azadi Ka Amrita Mahotsav is an embodiment of India's socio-cultural, political, and economic development. And we not only celebrate the glorious past and invincible future, but a Atunir Bharat that is stronger than ever. Similar to the history of the freedom movement, the journey of the 75 years independence is a reflection of the hard work, innovation, enterprise of our people. As the largest democracy of the world, we are proud of our constitution, we are proud of our democratic institution and traditions. As you all are aware, our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Bodhi ji 
लॉन्च दी हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ बर्थ एनिवर्सरी सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ लेजेंडरी फ्रीडम फाइटर मारम भिरुडु आलुरी सीताराम राजू आर्ड भिम्बरम आंध्र प्रदेश ऑन फोर्थ जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू आई हैड ऑल्सो द प्रिवलेज ऑफ पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द सेम मीटिंग विथ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड पे माय होमेज to the great mathya the prime minister applauded the efforts of aluri sitaram raju and his tribal identity ideas values and culture along with his life journey and sacrifices for the country and said that aluri sitaram raju represents the spirit of ex bharat sist bharat that has been uniting country in one thread of unity the prime minister also praised andhra pradesh state and called it the land of heroes and patriots and the acknowledged the contribution of heroes of the freedom movement like Pingali Bhengkaya, Kanaka Gati Hanumanthu, Kandukuri Virsal Lingam, Anturu, and Poti Sriamalu. So in Andhra Pradesh, there are so many great freedom fighters whose contribution cannot be forgotten. And the Tiranga, which you are just hosting now is the contribution of andhra pradesh and when there was bijawada session of the congress party bengali bhankya has showed the design of tiranga and argued in the executive that a flag is necessary for the country the flag is necessary for us and he had made the design and showed it to gandhi ji gandhi ji has made some suggestion that there will be little change in the flag and you do it that had also been done by pingru bhagya and ultimately this became this type of sangha which is the great contribution of andhra pradesh and specially mr bhankar and on this occasion i also like to say that this program has been launched by the prime minister with the object of awakening the entire nation think of the freedom movement some months back at india gate new delhi the hologram statue of netaji subhash chandra bose was installed by the prime minister and prime minister said that uh, after some time a big statue of netaji subhash chandra bose would be installed here he is the great son of the country who had given the call to the entire nation and said give me blood i will give you freedom there is no power in the world which which can keep us in bondage for all time to come and very soon we will get the freedom but looking up 9th august 42 and in 42 when gandhi ji has given the ultimatum to the britishers and asked them quit india there are certain people who ridiculed him so that this is naked fakir without knowing that how powerful this british emperor is is asking them to quit india but they did not know what was the confidence of mahatma gandhi 
what was the foresight of Mahatma Gandhi? And when lakhs of freedom fighters joined the voice of Mahatma Gandhi and asked the British to quit India, there was just a tremor in the whole country starting from Himalayan to Kanyakumari. Think of the contributions of this, our ancestors. Lots of people come to the state without caring for the British bullets. And the situation has become such, the British had left this country. We got independence. And we are proud for our country. This is the largest democracy of the country. And India has now become a big power and a big economic power, power of the world now. And in all complicated cases of the world, India has a definite role. I am not going to discuss all those things. But now, the Prime Minister has asked everybody, appeal to the entire nation, that have Tiranga, hoist Tiranga on every house, har har ghar Tiranga. Tiranga is the symbol of pride, is the symbol of unity. And it will send a message to the entire world that India is united. And in spite of all differences in different spheres, they will stand united for the great country. And that has been shown. And lastly, I appeal to you all, to all my brothers and sisters of Andhra Pradesh, that on every house top there must be Triranga from 13th to 15th of this month, August 15th, the great Independence Day, we will observe with all grandeur. Thank you all. Join.